Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Lucha Underground Season 2, Episode 14, Live Reactions. Can't believe we're this far into the season, it's insane. We're watching the last time on Lucha Underground video right now. And John, we have two massive matches set up for tonight. A fatal four-way elimination trios championship match and Johnny Mundo versus Cage in a Cage. Brother, it is going to be an insane episode of Lucha Underground tonight. You can feel it. Here we go. We're getting into it. I'm not going to turn up Johnny Mundo style until the main event. For now, though, we got much better. Oh, and I think we're going to start with Oh, I think our main event might be the trios championship match. You know what, which, you know what, I'll say to a degree makes sense. I, I think, again, you got four very talented teams in that main event, and I thought I was going to have to wait to turn up. I can turn up right now. Johnny Mundo, go, baby. Yes. I'm really digging this music. Bangdata. I'm going to have to look them up. This is going to be amazing. Oh, Kind of disappointed the music's over, but now we get to watch Lucha Underground, so it's okay that the music stopped. Exactly. Guys, it is all about who is going to get an Aztec medallion. Actually, I wanted to ask you something, too, at the start of the program, and this makes it even more convenient given the placement of everything on the card. Uh, we only have two Aztec medallion recipients at the moment, right? Aerostar Aero, yeah, exactly. and Aero Tejano. Aerostar and Tejano, yep. Right, so the winner of this match becomes the third recipient of an Aztec medallion. Yeah, that's right. I forgot that this was even for a medallion. That's awesome. Believe me, I have been obsessing over it. I have been promoting that fact on Twitter. I'm really excited about the prospect of Johnny Mundo. And yes, I will say prospect. you got to win the match first. As unfortunate as that is, I believe he should have just been awarded an Aztec medallion for taking out Alberto El Bitchbag from the temple last season. But there's a process, and we will honor that process by crushing Cage tonight and sending him to the junkyard where he belongs. You forgot the inner cage. Yeah, yeah, cage in a cage. Yeah, final time, people. Yeah, we really exhausted that very quickly, didn't we? It's not uh, possible to exhaust that good of a phrase. Uh, well, yes, to you, which is knows right here. Here he is, the dolt, the incompetent baboon of the temple, Cage. I will say, I mean, this man can do things that boggle the mind and leave the mouth agape. If only he had the intellect to go with all that strength and prowess, he could be the most complete performer in the temple. But, of course, that distinction belongs to Johnny Mundo. Don't do it. Don't do it, Cage. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, God, he's doing it. He's in himself. He's inside of himself, John. Oh, my God. And I can't handle the sight. This is awful. I'll tell you what I can't handle the sight of, the lovely Melissa Santos. She is rocking that blue dress tonight. Well, and you know what else? You can't handle the sight right after I said it in a completely different context. You might want to change it around a little bit. Well, actually, I won't because it'll still fit because I'm about to ruin my pants over the entrance of Johnny Mundo and Taya, baby. Yes! Taiwan Mundo! Taiwan Mundo, baby! Team Solidarity! You can't sit with us. You should feel very privileged, in fact, to be doing these live reactions alongside me. It's okay, though. You're on the VIP list for the after party. Look, I man, I get that you have a bond with Johnny and Taya, but I'm still cheering for Johnny. Don't make me an enemy. Look, I already said I put in a good word for you. You're in the VIP list for the after party when Mundo wins. We're what? all good, man. We're all good. I know, but you were really hostile right there. Look at that. Look at that. Just whispering to Taya. Look, it's going to be okay, Taya. Get the drinks chilled. Get the confetti ready. Get the music popping because this isn't going to take long. And that party is going to be raucous. It's going to be amazing. And I have to say, Dario Cueto, I mean, he his nameplate says he's kind of a big deal. But I don't think somebody who's kind of a big deal would be so myopic as to think that steel measures this cage possesses could actually contain the power of friendship or keep the power of friendship out, I should say, in Taya and Johnny Mundo here. And now, Johnny, and, he, and here's another thing, you know, that we're supposed to be intimidated that it's cage in a cage. But yet Johnny Mundo, between the two competitors, actually has steel cage experience on Lucha Underground, had the very first Lucha Underground steel cage match against King Cuerno. And here we go. Here we go. 
back and forth. The bombs get dropped. I, I mean, Cage, Cage does have a home field advantage here, but I think Johnny Mundo has the experience advantage, given that, as you said, there has only ever been one other Cage match in Lucha Underground history, and Johnny Mundo won it. Exactly. But Cage, though, does have the power advantage. Look, I never like to concede the weaknesses of Johnny Mundo, but, I mean, they are there. He's not as powerful as Cage. I do think he's he's quicker than Cage, but right now Cage really is dictating the pace. Nice clothesline there. And Cage, what a big I think he's quicker than Cage, he's smarter than Cage, and he's more savvy than Cage. And Taya is staying you know, outside, you know, monitoring the situation. I thought she would be out, out. But look at this. Mundo very smart trying to scale. And, oh, Cage grabbed the and angle there. Just pulled I'll also it. add, Johnny Mundo has a reach advantage on Cage. That is true. Nice drop kick there by Johnny Mundo. That's an excellent point there, Ashton. And now he's going to bring Cage over. Oh, Irish whip against the ropes. Cage counters. Nice drop kick wow. by Cage. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, look, I, I can grill the guy and raise him to the ground all day verbally, and I have done it quite merrily, I might add. But he's an incredible athlete. I can never, in all sincerity, take that away from him. And now he's going to use Johnny Mundo as a dart, and he, oh, the face right in the steel wall. That cage looks really low. It looks like it's a lot more well-reinforced this time than the last time, though. I agree. I agree. And, and you have to imagine, Ashton, that the more Cage is in control, the more he's able to utilize this cage. And again, oh, oh my God. Johnny Mundo better be careful he doesn't get busted open. We're going to have photo shoots after with him posing with that medallion. And, uh, you know, but you have to imagine Cage's confidence is going to grow the more he is on offense. And that's very dangerous for Johnny Mundo to contend with. And I think that slides out. Yes. And now Cage. Oh, Cage catching the military oh. press. Cage. Oh, my God. The back. Oh, God. I was kind of oh. hoping Johnny would have the wherewithal to grab the cage and start scaling it when Cage threw him on it as like a head start, but I guess oh. it was just too painful for him to handle. Oh, God, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, oh, torture rack style, like neck breaker, inverted, and that like driver almost, and oh, Mundo kicks out. He stays in it. That's right. You can still win this match via pinfall or submission. Indeed, you can. I mean, that's what uh, Mundo did against King Cuerno. He did a uh, end of the world. John, I feel like Taya has to get involved in this match somehow. I mean, you, I, like I said, man, the power of friendship, the ingenuity of both Mundo and Taya. I mean, they're going to... Oh, gonna, my you're gonna, God! You're talking oh, about... my God! That's disgusting! What are you doing? Oh! Oh, God! Rev, step in there! What are you doing? Oh! No DQ, John. He can do that. God, the inhumanity! Let go of him! Oh, oh, my God! It was Rick Knox, of course it was, you son of a bitch! Oh, no, 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 my ass! Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him, what are you doing? Come on, yes, he's got the foot, and he kicked it out, he kicked it out, and now he's gonna scale the cage himself. Nice shot there by Mundo, and now he's gonna climb up, kick to the midsection there, look at Mundo, oh, what a headbutt, though, oh, my God, oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, but the, all oh, the intellect, the superior intellect using the ropes of Johnny Mundo. Oh, that's the difference between a savant and a savage right there. And now Mundo off the ropes. Oh, the knee. What a beautiful knee to the that, face of Cage. That was awesome. That was brutal. Oh, and oh, another again, one. Again. Yes, again. And a drop kick. Oh, my God. I... I am salivating, and I can only imagine how Johnny Mundo is feeling. He has Johnny needs to use this opportunity to climb up the opposite side of the cage. Maybe not necessarily yet. Maybe he wants to weaken Cage just a little bit more. No, I think oh, he he's pulled Cage out. He's going to go for the end of the world. I, 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 oh wait, Cage is up though. Cage is up. Crap. Oh, this is not good either. I think he wanted a top of the cage end of the world. Oh, look at this tie with the belt. We'll get Taya with the belt. Get, oh, get, get to him. Oh, oh, God. Oh, and I'm oh, trying to, I guess, whip Cage or, or hit the hand. He, she, yeah, yeah she's whipping hand. Cage's hand to get him loose off the Excellent. Cage. Oh, Spanish oh, fly. Spanish fly. fly. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, my God. Go for the cover. Go for the cover. Hug the leg. Two. Oh, did he get it? Oh, no. Oh, fucking Rick Knox. Son of a bitch. Oh, Cage kicked out. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Johnny Mundo has been so consistently close, and the Lucha Underground World Championship pitcher gift of the gods would be an incredible opportunity. Just ask Phoenix what an incredible opportunity it is. I mean, there's a well, press- not only an opportunity, but it is the gift of the gods, and it does give you the power of the gods. So it makes your chances of winning the title not only pretty good that you get to cash in in the first place and get that opportunity, but even better because it makes you more powerful when you go after the world title. Exactly, and Mundo. Despite his sheer excellence, I mean, an advantage could never hurt. And now he's just choking out Cage with the boot. I think he just asked Cage how his boot tasted. Yeah, well, pretty damn good, I'm sure. And now, Mundo in the corner. Oh, oh my God, and Cage powering through. Almost a Uranagi in the corner. Yeah. And now Cage, is he going to do a moonsault maybe? We know that he can do some aerial maneuvers. Or he may even try and scale the cage here and escape. Taya might help Johnny. I don't know how many more assists, though, Taya can give Johnny. I mean, the belt was an Oh, look injury. at this. But, oh, Mundo, they'll back up. One thing about Mundo, whether you like his tactics or not, he is not easy to beat. No? I mean, he is somebody that'll keep going. Oh, my God! No way! Moonlight Drive! God! Oh, my God! I can't wait for that to be Jim Moonlight Drive off the top rope. Over! It's over! Two! Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Rick Knox? Uh, say the big boy word with me now. Three! <laughs> Three, motherfucker! Three! <laughs> Son of a oh, bitch! Oh, Ty's gonna give Johnny a, a kendo stick. Oh, my God. Yeah, hand it to him. Hand it to him, Ty. It's okay. We, oh, we should... pay attention to Cage, though. Make sure he doesn't get it. You actually have a good point there. All right. Uh, Cage is oh, starting. Crap. Cage... No, 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 no! Oh, crap. Pull it out! Pull it out, Ty! Pull it out! Pull it out! Oh, Jesus. Johnny, oh. though. Oh, oh! Take oh. advantage! Oh, Fly, Chuck! Oh, my uh, God. Single. Barrel, wheel, barrel. Wheel, barrel, barrel suplex. Stu- Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm getting nervous now. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Cage cannot qualify. No, no fucking way. No fucking way is this happening to me. No, no, no. Counter, counter. Oh, I thought he was going to set up for Weapon X. I thought he was as well. Oh, my God. Power bomb in the corner there. Oh, he's going uh, for power bomb into the, the wall, into the cage. Oh, God. Counter it, Johnny. Counter it. Into the himself. <laughs> yeah, into the himself, right? Oh, my God. This is bad. This is bad. I mean, I, I've always kind of mocked cage for, I'm not a man, I'm a machine. Taya, oh, Taya has the kendo stick in her mouth. She's trying to hit Cage to get him down off the cage. Yes, yes, Taya, do whatever you can. Oh, my God. Oh, this is Johnny, really Johnny pulled him off. Johnny has the, the kendo stick. Yes, oh, use it. Yes, go to town. Oh, my God, I hope he can really oh, secure right, it. the calf. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, my God. If works, it's never going to work again. Cage adapts. He does. He oh, does. Nice work. Uh, only a two count there. Mundo getting really frustrated. Now Now Mundo's got the kendo stick. See, now if I'm Mundo, I am either A, wailing away on Cage rather than waiting, or just throwing the kendo stick away so that it can't be used against me. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Ashton. Oh, God. Oh, well, well, oh, low blow, low blow, oh, no, 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 oh, 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 no. oh, dodge it, yes, escape, escape, yes, oh, my God, oh, my God, Johnny freaking Mundo, this is incredible, Cage is such a lumbering moron, oh, oh, God, well, I'll tell you what, Cage, that was actually pretty clever on the part of the oaf, and Alabama slam, oh, oh what a catch by Cage, though, oh, I got that was some Mr. Perfect shit, what the fuck, yeah, what, and- those reflexes, though, Jesus Christ, what is happening in my life? Taiwan <laughs> Mundo needs a backup plan. Taiwan Mundo needs a backup. Oh, my God, not the abs. That was not- such an amazing sequence, though, with Johnny dodging all those shots. That parkour training at its finest. Oh, oh right over the head. head. And he broke it. He broke it. it. He broke it. <laughs> this isn't fair. No. No, this isn't fair. Yo, he he got got down. He's, He's still alive. He's still alive. Fuck you, universe! Fuck you! And now, no, he's calling oh, for the Oh, God, end. go for the Steiner screwdriver, please, no. Please, please, please not no, my no, life, please no, no, no. my yes! life. Yes! Yes, he slid out, and, and the kick, super kick, nitro blast! And oh, and a kick to the head there. Oh, oh Disney, oh, Disney, oh, Lariat. You've got to be fine. Oh, but Taya, Taya with the chair! And Mundo kicks he out. kicked out of the Lariat! No one's ever kicked out of that, that, that discus Lariat before! Oh, my God. 
I, I can't now even. He's setting up for Weapon X. No, 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 no. Counter Johnny, counter Johnny. He does. So the yes. clip. One, two. Oh. Oh, my God, Ty. I hope you know what you're doing because it all comes down to this. Oh. Mundo's got the chair. Mundo's got the chair. Use it. He does. Oh, he does. right on the head. That's it. I Maybe not, though. Maybe not, though. Two. two. Oh, my God. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it wasn't going to be enough. We need something big. Use the chair again or throw it over the cage wall so that it isn't used against you. Oh, my God. We, we need something bigger. We need to end this. This is getting out of control. He's thinking end of the – no, no, he isn't thinking end of the world. It's I not, think he's thinking end of the world, but he's going to wait for Cage to stand up to do it like what he did to Cuerno. Maybe. I thought he was actually even going to use Cage as kind of like a, a literal stepping stone, kind of like a doormat to start climbing the cage. But no, he's just going to ascend it. Come on. Oh, crap. On. What do you – what do you – no, just climb over it, man. Don't do this to me. You've got it. Just go over. You're a heel. You know better. No. No. These idiots don't deserve it. Think about giving to the gods. Think about oh, the my God. No, please don't do what this. What is he going to do? 450? No, just climb out, dude. No. Oh, oh. my God. Fuck. What? Usually when somebody misses a big move like that, it leads to their demise. But Taya might get involved here and oh. save Johnny this match. Oh, please, Taya, don't, don't hurt yourself, though, Taya. Be careful. Oh, oh. Cross body. She hit him. Go. She hit him with the crossbody. Uh, yes. What a fucking beast. And now she's in the cage. Friendship, motherfucker. Dude, Friendship. okay. John, it's Taya, not Taya. I said Taya. I know, but you're talking like she's Taya Gardner. Oh, well, you know, they're friends, okay? They're unified, a unified front. It's a, oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. magic killer. Magic killer here. I'm coming. They got it. Oh, oh that wasn't a magic it. killer. That was a uh, super moonlight drive. One, two. Oh, my God, he kicked out again. Oh, my God, this is pissing me off. Come on. Just die. Just die, you stupid fucking machine. Die. Uh, what more what does he do? Oh, what does Taya have in her boot? Hopefully something that doesn't backfire. Oh, it's the freaking handcuffs. Oh, I hope this doesn't backfire. I really, Well, no, really... how can it possibly backfire? Well, unless Cage breaks the handcuffs, that's possible. Yeah, or breaks the handcuffs or overpowers. or There's a multitude of situations. Where oh, this... but see, look, she's putting them on the rope instead of the cage. That's smart because, I mean, obviously it's a lot harder to break handcuffs when they give. Oh, God. Oh, God. See, now oh, he's going to hit some fire. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. My life. Just no. though, he has a chair. Oh, crap. He's going to hit Taya. Uh, and, oh, he he did. He did. Oh, it's the beginning of the end. Oh, oh and he. Oh, crap. It's, it's over. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. It's fucking over, isn't it? And oh, here we God, go. Steiner screwdriver onto the chair? My this God. is so unnecessary, Cage. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, fucking damn well, it. that's it's, it. It's over. One, two, three. Can that is an of... illegal pin. He wasn't even touching Johnny. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> fucking Cage. After everything... He wins this match, and he goes to get for the gods, and I don't even know what Mundo's going to do at Ultima Lucha now. But it's not going to be for the world title, so I guess I'm just going to have to wait for Season 3 then for anything to happen. Yeah, hold it up, piece of shit. So that's Aerostar, Tejano, and Cage. I mean, oddly enough, the Technicos are really dominating Gift of the Gods here. Yeah. Haven't had one Rudo Well, that's qualified. not odd at all, considering the champion is a Rudo. That's true. Uh, well, Holy crap. we went that entire time. That was almost 20 minutes without a single commercial. Yeah, it's because Lucha Underground knows how to do pro wrestling. Oh, my God. That was uh, such a hype opening to this show. And we're at we're like almost actually we are. We're 20 minutes in and this is our first commercial, guys. This has been amazing. We'll be back on the other side of this commercial. But God, I love Lucha Underground. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Lucha Underground Season 2, Episode 14, Live Reactions, and we are still in the temple. We haven't had a single backstage segment yet. This is it. This is the Trios Tournament Finals. Yep. Four They're teams. Give us a mind-boggling post credit scene. I feel it. Probably. You know. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Wait oh, up. 
What's this? What is this? Oh, I have a chance. Breaking, Breaking oh, news. Oh, something next week. What's going on next week? Mil Matanza 2? Maybe. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, uh, what is this going to be, John? We want Lucha Chance. Let's see. Uh, oh, and I have uh, a Helic- perk. What? Okay. Okay. However. Oh, boy, the match will go uh, on. Which means Evil East and Son of Havoc will just have to fight alone. Oh, 2-1. Wow. Oh, man. Crap, man. Wow, Cueto really hates those guys. Wow. So, Angelico is hurt, but guess what else? Uh, I, the, the big question raised now is, what happened to Angelico? Exactly. And now I feel like the chances of Son of Havoc and Ivelisse retaining the trios championships has really just taken a Jack sharp Evans turn downward. Is ridiculous. Yeah, he is. Look at that. He's walking down the steps on his hands. Here is to hoping that Caltech Star has a better night than I just got done having and that Jack Evans can potentially become one third of the new trios champions. Dude, I, I mean, I guess on Helico's injury kind of bodes more for a, a Rudo trios team winning, which would be pretty. There aren't any Rudo trios teams because even like the trios team that you would think is a Rudo team, which is like Cisco and Castro and Joey Ryan, like Cisco and Castro are, are technicos now. And I'm still picking them to win, you know, so we'll see what happens. I but. guess Jack Evans, PJ Black, and Joey Ryan are the only Rudos in this entire match. Right, right. And I'll tell and then there are Cisco, Castro, and Ryan, and yeah, Joey Ryan making it all about him. Sleazy Joey Ryan. I think with the incredibly low saturation of Rudos in this match you almost have to just go by sheer star power, which to me makes the dream team even more likely to win the whole thing. If this was triple a, I'd agree with you wholeheartedly, but in Lucha underground, I've learned there's no such thing as a sure thing. So we'll see. Here we uh, go. I find it. Listen hilarious. to the way she announces it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Alyssa these... is even more into this team than the other three. I know. It's hard not to be when you just look at the sheer talent of it all. Yeah. I mean, these three men. Oh, I love coming... that Ray's shirt is like Ray Mysterio in Switzerland. Yeah, really. <laughs> these three men have a very deep bond. And you got to figure one of the more dominant teams in this contest. In fact, I'm sure many would say the most dominant team. In this contest. Remember who they beat, too. Exactly. They beat Mundo, Taya, and Cage. And I'll tell you, they could take it all the Phoenix, way tonight. such a Rey Mysterio fanboy. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Evans got angry at him for shaking his hand. That's amazing. Well, Jack Evans and PJ Black certainly seem to be on the same page. Phoenix well, seems we thought that pick. last time, too, but Jack Evans didn't want to be tagged in even by P.J. Black. I mean, I told Caltag Star today, Jack Evans is the team, as far as he's concerned, anyway. And here they are. Ivelisse and Son of Havoc, and boy, is she pissed. I find it hilarious that the two people with probably the most intimate history, you know, of the whole Team Havoc team now have to go it alone without on Helico to defend those belts. Yeah. And I'm just grateful that they're not going to get any crazy issues. dives in this match. No, you are not. <laughs> Unless on Helico rushes back from the hospital in the last ditch effort to help his team retain. But I highly doubt that. Yeah, that's not and, happening. And let's remember, I mean, this is elimination style. This is not one fall of the finish. So you get pinned, you go back to the locker room and you hit the showers. And last team remaining is the new trios champions. I wonder if we're going to get a like a post credit scene revealing the fate of Angelico, what happened to him. Maybe. You know, it's certainly a lot of speculation. Maybe Cueto has him locked in a broom closet or something. That could very well be. That locks from the outside. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at a commercial, so we'll be back on the other side. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are about to be underway with the trio championship tournament finals elimination style. That's right. And Team Havoc going in with a handicap here as Angelico was injured, rushed to the hospital. And Dario Cueto said that Son of Havoc and Evil East will be going in it alone. So, you know. My only question is, is this match elimination in that whenever somebody gets pinned, their entire team is eliminated or full blown, you have to pin everybody? I would think if you had to pin everybody, this match would go on forever. So I'm thinking to simplify things. First pinfall, that entire team gets eliminated. Dude, so. there's still there's still 25 minutes left in this show. That's true, but you have to figure to pin every single individual. You'd have to pin. You figure it's a four team matchup, and well, now really there are let's see 11. That means people. that at minimum there would have to be eight pinfalls. Right. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, look at that. A member of each team starting this thing. That's right. I really should have thought about that. And, oh, Eva, Eva Lee's going at it with uh, Mr. Cisco, yeah. Rey Mysterio, and Phoenix. Oh, man. Resuming what they started at Aztec Warfare. Oh, oh this wow. is such a cool format. Look at this. Ah, and now, you double pitcher. And I'll, uh, oh, now Phoenix sweeps Mr. Cisco, and Cisco kicks out. And Eva Lee's on now. top of every one of these exchanges. Yeah. I think I, I mean you have to imagine, Ashton, that for Team Havoc, both Evil East and Son of Havoc have a greater sense of urgency to get things done. Oh, knowing see that the senton on to Mr. Cisco. Oh, but look at Evil East; they're taking it to Ray. Evil East is handling her business right now. Oh, oh, but that kick to the gut, though. Yeah, Phoenix not to be denied here, Mr. Cisco. Oh, Mr. the clothesline and then snap power slam there that by awesome. Cisco. Yeah. I'll tell you, Mr. Cisco's really come into his own these uh these last few weeks, you know, with this the new Technico man. He's a Technico. That's the difference. Yeah, absolutely. And now all all four members of uh each Team respective Havoc. team. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Not me. And uh, Son of Havoc just got In the tag. In comes S O H and Puma uh... and P J and Cortez. The workers have arrived, people. And dude, this is gonna. I mean, if you, if you thought that was something, I think this exchange is going to kick it up a notch. Oh, and now what are they, my God. The are four we doing way. A, are we doing like a four way test of strength? Oh, and they break it off here. PJ Black going after Son of Havoc. Puma, going after... Puma joining PJ Black in the heelish tactics. Yeah, and Prince Puma going after Cortez Castro. Now PJ Black, they're shot off the ropes, but he counters Son of Havoc there. Oh, look at that, though. Uh, do si do <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, yeah. And now, oh, oh my man. God. Everything is happening right now. I, I can tell you right now, I will not be able to keep up. This is going to be action at the oh, highest this. level. Oh, look at this. Puma and Dragon Azteca Jr., though. I Working think, together did, nice. Did El Dragon Azteca Jr. get tagged in? I, I believe he did. Oh, oh, shooting star. One. Two. No, not even. Oh, uh, PJ Black misses. <laughs> Eating. Oh, leg drop there. Just, that was so cool. He, like, pulled his leg black. That was like a rubber band leg drop. That was awesome. He did. That was amazing. I, and, uh, dude, I freaking love El Dragon. That's like a junior. He's so good. He he is incredible. Absolutely insane. And now look at Mr. Cisco there. How smart was that? Taking the tag from behind. Son of Havoc doesn't know that it happened. Why? I, think now I didn't even realize it happened, honestly. But, yeah, you're right. That's brilliant. A leg drop there by Mr. Cisco. Joey Ryan might be intentionally avoiding getting in this match. Well, you know, so he can steal the pin of glory. You know, he wants to come in for the vital moments, you know, when you can actually take the credit. Oh, and now, here comes Cortez Castro. And despite this team's dysfunctionality, I mean, I have pegged them to win. I just got a gut feeling Cisco, Castro, and Ryan are going to be champions when this is all over. And now look at Cortez Castro here antagonizing on Dragon Azteca Jr. Smart, though, because now the referee's got to admonish El Dragon Azteca and calls it a distraction. Oh, but then comes Black. Black, too. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Look at Cortez Castro. They're handling his business with the back suplex. I wonder why Castro didn't follow up on Son of Havoc. Yeah, you got, you got to wonder that as well. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, but I'm not gonna stack it. Yeah, you. He's really evasive. Oh wow! Oh, my God, he's so quick. And now, oh look at that Cortez Castro. That was just a simple night at shop. Sometimes simplicity is key. Oh, uh, Puma reached out for the tag but missed. Oh, now El Dragon Azteca Jr. misses in the corner, kick to the head there. I nice. think. Nice. The camera can't even keep up with the action. I, I can't blame the cameraman in this case. Oh, oh wow. That Mr. was Mr. Awesome. Cisco. And now look at this. Nice pinning combination there, ah. too. And almost three there. That was ah. dangerously close. I thought he had him, honestly. I'm surprised he kicked out, but yeah. 
And it's funny because I don't want to put words in your mouth, but haven't you picked the dream team for the longest yeah, time? Yeah, dude, absolutely. I'm still I'm sticking by that, but I, I, you know, I had a little knot in my throat on that moment. I, I certainly don't blame you. I, I know what that feels like after tonight. And now Son of Havoc shot off the ropes, double back elbow there. Yep. Son of Havoc is just next level on oh, the tax in Oh, but then Joey and Ryan. Joey Ryan. Oh, look, he slides <laughs> out. Joey Ryan wants none of that. But, oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, my God. He's such a dirtbag. <laughs> he is. I love it. <laughs> it's like my spirit animal right there. <laughs> uh, I, wait, I thought Johnny Rudo was your spirit animal. Well, I mean, Johnny Mundo's my everything, but, it, I mean, I have to evolve my sleeves. I'm only at a low level right now. I mean, Johnny Mundo is the ultimate, the tip of the pyramid. And now, wait, Phoenix here. Phoenix here. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That was bad. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, it didn't really seem like Phoenix got much of that, but PJ Black oh, here. PJ. Oh, wow. Oh, but Puma. PJ is just getting one-upped at every turn. Yeah, it's like, let me have my moment, damn it. Couldn't hit a, an elbow drop. He couldn't do that. He couldn't. Oh, oh my God. Beautiful team. This tag <laughs> match. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? Oh, oh my, my God. God. And no one caught him. Oh, now, now Puma, though. I think PJ's going to cut him off. And, and he does. Yes. He does. <laughs> Payback's a bitch, and so am I. It's for top. Oh, my hey, God. Man, that was awesome. He That's such like a South African dive. He and Anelico do dives the exact same way. Oh, now Rey Mysterio launches oh, on oh, everybody. Squirrel. Wow. Oh, my God. This, and now Puma. Oh, my God. That looked awkward. Puma's like, screw it, I'm making it work, and now Son of Havoc here. The the densest man alive. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Not Every only is he dense from a weight to height ratio, but he's incredibly dense in a talent to height ratio, am I right? Yeah, I mean just unreal. And now Evil Lease. Oh, oh. oh god. Is she trying to go over the top rope or is she gonna go between the top and middle? Be smart about this, Evie. I worry about... Oh, wait a minute, though. Joey Ryan trying to cut her off. And, oh, my God. That chest hair. What a creep. Uh, and I'll oh, get slapped for yeah. his... Oh, but now Throttle's Evie Lee's... She's uh, not going to She's going to destroy him. Oh, look at that counter. And then the arm drag to Joey Ryan there. Oh, and the kick. Oh, my God. Evie Lee is not putting up with that shit. Oh, God. Oh, and then the slaps to Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan, though, shoves her off. Oh, this is the clothesline. German. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh, but Cortez Cap to get the tag. Yeah, he ain't going to mess around. Get it. You got this. Evil Lease looks pissed. Yes, it does. Wouldn't you be? Uh, yeah, I would be. I don't blame her for asserting herself. And oh, look at the hard forearms to Cortez Castro. Oh, what a shot, though. What a shot, though. A brain buster? Brain buster right there. Oh, uh, it's going to take more than that to beat Evil East. He's the pin, though. He's not capitalizing. Oh, man. Joker is... Ryan, what's the tag? <laughs> he of is... course he does. He is so desperate for he attention. He's doing a dirty cover. And now where is Mr. Cisco? Oh, Mr. Cisco there. I oh. see him there. Oh, wait, this could be the elimination oh, right here. Oh. Cradle two. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. They're out. Wow. Weren't they your pick, John? Or my pick, yeah, first team did eliminated. Did you get eliminated first? Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> I, I really thought for the sake of the investigation they'd have to win this match, but uh, now now we'll see. I mean, can Eva Lee and Son of Havoc survive? I think it speaks volumes that the two-person team has outlasted the other teams, or at yeah. least one other team. Exactly. they still got two more teams to go. Whew, all right, so we just had an elimination. Ivelisse is in the middle of the ring, and we went to commercial. But the beautiful thing is when we get back, Ivelisse will probably still be in the middle of the ring, and we'll pick up right where we left off. That being said, we'll see you guys on the other end of this commercial. All right, guys, we are back. Ivelisse was in the ring with Jack Evans, but Son of Havoc just got tagged in. Jack Evans, Son of Havoc, Prince Puma. And actually, that's it because the other team is eliminated. But So those are the three legal men right now. Absolutely. And, and you know, if, if – like I said, my my boy Caltag Store, you know, he's got to be happy that Jack Evans is still in this thing. That unlikely trio. Guessing his team gets eliminated next, though. 
Maybe. You know, I mean, you have to imagine, as impressed as I am with Son of Havoc and Evil Oh, that was the image that Lucha Underground shared on their Instagram right there, that double drop kick. Nice. Yeah. And oh, yeah, that's uh, shots fire now, Son of Havoc, Prince Puma going at it. Wow, look at Son of Havoc getting the, the edge up on Prince Puma. That's not something you see very often. Hard. Forearms there. I would have loved to see a Son of Havoc title shot while Puma was champion. Yeah, that would have been amazing. And now, oh, kick oh, to the head. Oh, double stop into the moonsault. There we go. And now look at Son of Havoc double stopping now for the moonsault on the back. And he manages to be smart enough, unlike Naomi, or Cameron, I guess it was, to flip his opponent over onto their backs. Exactly. <laughs> and now Son of Havoc. Frustrated that that did not translate into a three count. I mean, Oh, you... but Jack Evans. Jack Evans coming in and uh, sorting himself there. I don't blame him when it's for a championship. You got to do what you got to do. And Jack Evans now, oh, oh. oh, just kicking Son of Havoc right in the face. And now Puma is kind of looking on Jack Evans, man. He is so full of himself. And now Evil East, wow, what a shot to the face there to Jack Evans. Then another, oh, another. Arms. Wow, she is just unloading. Four arms, Jack Evans. Oh, oh, the... oh, Jack Evans got the boot up, and Evil East just oh, collapses. He, yeah, she just just crumpled into a heap. Yeah, and Jack Evans just talking trash. Blathering on saying he's the man. Yeah, we get it. He just called himself the baddest bitch in the building. <laughs> wow. He would. That surprises no one. That's amazing, though. Jack Evans. And I'll look at that. Now focusing on Puma. That's smart, though. I mean, I will give Jack Evans this. He has great oh awareness. My oh, my God. He just tossed Puma over. Jesus Christ. Like, Puma was a human projectile there. And now, oh, could he be doing the same thing to Ivalice? No, Ivalice, though, body shots. Nice I, I thought for a second there that Jack was going to go for Drunken Kung Fu. I, I thought as well. Look at that, though. Missed the shot oh there. Oh, my Ivalice, God, what a boot. boot. Good God. Ivalice oh. just taking heads off. Shooting star? No, Phoenix with the save. Yeah, Phoenix saving his part. Hey, look, Phoenix has a chance of gold. I don't blame them. Oh, and At I least take... playing defense, though. I love it. I'll tell you, actually, if Phoenix wins oh, this match... Yoshi Tonic, oh, that's it! Oh, Yoshi Tonic oh, there, that could be it! Oh, but PJ Black. Oh, now look at this, he's going to reverse it. That is so One, smart. Two, that is three, so smart. That's it. He got it! New champions guaranteed. Wow. Oh, my God, could this be Jack Evans' night? Oh, <laughs> man. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if Phoenix wins this match, wouldn't he be Lucha Underground's first ever Grand Slam champion? Yeah! Well, no, it wouldn't be Grand Slam. It would be... Um, triple Crown. Yeah, Triple Crown, because they don't have a championship, but yeah. They don't have a four champion, but I only thought Grand Slam in the sense that he's like won every conceivable title in the... Uh, in no, the for, for Grand Slam is four. Uh, okay. Well, still, I mean, Triple Crown, and even if you don't want to like call it Grand Slam because it needs four, he would. it still would be a fact that he would have won every title in the promotion, so yep. that'd be huge for Phoenix. All right, guys, the format for these long matches is when a team gets eliminated, we go to commercial, and the team just got eliminated, so now we're at commercial. We'll see you on the other side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with what I'm guessing will be the final segment of this week's Lucha Underground Season 2 Live Reactions. Phoenix... And El Dragon Azteca Jr. are in the ring. We've got Jack Evans and PJ Black on one side. Rey Mysterio Jr. and Prince Puma on the other. And this match is about to kick into somehow even higher gear than it already was in. Oh, man. And Phoenix and El Dragon Azteca Jr. These two guys set to dance here. And oh, go, oh double stop to the back of the head. Two. And oh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. kicks out. I'm telling you. This unlikely team of Phoenix, Evans, and Black. Could they take home all the gold? Could they be in the black when oh the night ends? A oh, wheelbarrow. And oh, all Jesus. the ropes. Oh, no, oh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. He catches me. Oh, this sequence right now. Jesus. El Dragon Azteca Jr. Oh, the DDT. Oh, the, oh that's it. Oh, the DDT. If you can cover him here. Oh, but, uh, you know what, though? That's Evans clearly not a finisher. Yeah, I mean, Phoenix already rolling over onto his, uh, onto his stomach and, and starting to get oh. up. And now... I think he oh, was super kick. Yeah, he really wanted to put it away there. Wow, what a counter by Phoenix. Yeah, I was just going to say, that reversal was incredible, though. Yeah, it was. I'm telling you, man, El Dragon Azteca Jr. is the single most elusive luchador in the temple, and it's not even close. Yeah, and now all oh, could Puma get attack here. This could um, be bad. Yes, maybe you could say Drunken Master Jack Evans might be more elusive, but it's close. 
Oh, I mean, he may need to have some sake on hand because this match is going south. And oh, now- what a northern lights into a yes, into a vert. Oh, and now is he gonna drop? And he does. Yep, nice suplex there. Good oh, God, Mister Esque. Oh, uh, Byron's carry. Benadryl. Benadryl. Oh he- my God, and he destroyed him. Hit his mark, and Puma is fired up. The heart and soul of the temple, man. I'm telling you. Oh, and now could it be though? Six thirty. He's calling for it. Up rope here. PJ Black gets hit with this. It's over. PJ Black. Two, three, and he hit it. He got He's it. Go for the cover. What? I, I don't know why he didn't go for the. I mean, as a former world champion, he knows how this runs. All why. the accidents. That's why. That's why right there. Jack Evans, the difference. <laughs> Did you see Jack Evans get back in his corner and put his elbow on the pad like nothing's happening? Like that nonchalance, like that innocence, like, oh, me? What do you mean, me? <laughs> oh, and that just goes right after Mama. Hey, I didn't Ash- steal the cookies from the cookie jar. <laughs> Ashton, while this team of Black, Evans, and uh, Phoenix may have been thrown together, I, I mean, they are crafty, particularly Jack yeah. Evans. It's very Phoenix, is, Phoenix might not get along with the other two, but his pride won't allow him to not help them. Oh, look at this. And, oh, and now... Yeah. Oh, and Phoenix eats it, I think. Or what? Uh, I think it was. Yeah, oh, it comes it. Ray. And Ray now. Phoenix may walk out on these guys. Oh. Be like, Screw this. Oh, Ray, they're nice. Or okay. Right. Oh. oh, multiple revolution heads. Is there, and oh, yeah, PJ Black. He's, he's oh, all, but look at that Puma. Oh, Jack Evans missed the clothesline. Springboard That's cross right. body. Wow. Evans is dead. Ray is cooking on another level here off the ropes. Inverted, Inverted 619. Six, and now Ray holding the fingers up. Could this be a dive here? Oh, Jack Evans got caught. Wow. And oh, now, my God. Scissors right into the got, middle rope. Jack Evans got caught there. Could it be now an actual 619 here? Yep. And he, he got it. He hit it. Full Puma. Con. Puma now lying in wait here. El Dragon let's take a junior as well. What is this? Oh, my oh, God. What? An assisted. An assisted satellite DDT. Holy shit. This team. And now Puma directing travel. Oh, wow. Double dive. Oh, Double my dive. God. Oh, it could be the beginning of the end here. And now I think Ray is going to set up for, like, oh, a moonsault. Oh, look at that. A slit like a moonsault. One, two, two three count. New trios champions. Yep. They're just too OP, man. You cannot. I mean, we've already seen Prince Puma take on three guys at once. Right. Like, uh, yeah, this the odds were stacked against everyone else with this team in this tournament. Rey Mysterio's first championship, as well as yeah. Eldorado Azteca's Puma's second Puma's champion. Puma's second, yeah. Puma needs to win Gift of the Gods now to beat Phoenix to the race to the Triple Crown. Wow. And uh, Rey almost, I think, stunned that he's holding the gold here. And, yeah, hands it to his teammates. Wow. El Dragon Azteca Jr. has had the quickest rise in this temple of anybody. Well, and Ray. <laughs> and Ray, yeah. I No, and actually Matanza has a quicker rise than both of them. Yeah, that's true. One, one. Oh, go, oh, post credit scene! What's going to happen here? Is this going to be Black Lotus, maybe? Maybe. Looking around, who is it? Oh, this might be Mill. Or, yeah. That's or nice. Vampiro! Oh, uh, I think it is Vampiro. Yeah. It is Vampiro. It's totally Vampiro. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, snap. We see samurai swords there. P- Pentagon. He's In a, a wheelchair. wheelchair. What? He's going to sacrifice him. He's going to sacrifice him to a god. Um, get up. He can't Pentagon. get up. He's in a freaking wheelchair, vamp. But if his if his master wills him to, he's got to try at least, I guess. Come on, Pentagon. Come on. Oh my God. He can't. His back is just destroyed thanks to Matunza power bombing him to the table. Oh, uh, what's what's Vampiro thinking oh, here? Oh my God. Is that uh, no wax? Oh, my God. He is now coercing. Oh, he oh. Handle wax on him. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. He's got to get up. 
Oh, man. How many candles are in that building? Screaming at him, get up. Can he, can he do it? Oh, my God. And he died. Oh, no. Face busted. Face plant. Oh, I don't know if he can. Oh, wait. What's Vampiro doing? It, he really could sacrifice him. Holy crap. You're weak. Now just throws him down. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. I I fear for Matunza, if you can believe it, for however Pentagon does come back. Because Vampiro is grooming a soldier here. Oh, oh and that's... Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy crap. That was I incredible. I can't believe it's over. Easily the most incredible hour of television on a weekly basis, and it's not even close. Yeah, and this week's Shield was really good, too, but that took the cake. Yeah, easily. Oh, my God. Dude, I wonder if we're ever going to get Lucha Underground and Mr. Robot running at the same time, because that might be closer of a competition than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I would agree with you, and even then, though, Lucha Underground is just... It's so good! Just next fucking level. Oh, man. Wow. All right, well, that's the end of the episode, I guess. Pentagon is in sad, sad shape. I guess he's paralyzed from the... I mean, clearly not the neck down, because he was using his arms to try and get up, so I guess the waist down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, he's going through a Batman transformation, John. He's going through a Batman transformation! Like I said, I fear for Matunza when Pentagon comes back because that's going to be something fierce. I don't know if I should, if I can ever say that I fear for Matunza with anything. But that said, if anyone's going to stand a chance against him, it's either going to be Mill or Pentagon. Pentagon 2.0, as I've been calling him with this return. So we'll see. All right, guys. That's the end of the recording. We'll see you all for TwitWow.